on May 19th, I was fired from my job with the Toronto Maple Leafs. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, it was at that point, after thinking for a couple of months after Dr. Igg had called, exactly what I wanted to say um, and uh, what I could be helpful with. I'd never been fired before. Uh, that was my first time. Um, hopefully my last, but I'll, I'll probably get uh, the, that same conversation again at some point. That's life and the way that it goes. As Dr. Igg just said, embrace failure. We've had a lot of failure in my time with the Leafs and Sault Ste. Marie. And, um, I'm happy to share that with you at all times. That's the way it goes. Um, but after I was fired, uh, the ensuing days between the end of my time with Toronto and the beginning of my uh, time with Pittsburgh, it became crystal clear to me uh, what I wanted to impart today and what I wanted to share with everybody. But I can absolutely tell you that if you find something that you really love and you're passionate about, there are going to be days when it's going to feel like, absolutely feel like work. And it's going to be very hard. <laughs> Uh, so my second piece would be find something that you really still love when it gets incredibly hard, when you fail, when you lose, when people tell you that you aren't very good, when people doubt you. That's really what you're probably meant to be doing, is if you can find that thing that you still love when it becomes really hard, that's for you. And my encouragement would be, would be to invest in yourself when you get there. Um, the lesson that uh, what I learned, uh, so the second part uh, that I'd like to share today, um, is from the, the day that I was fired by the Leafs to the, the day that I, I took the position with Pittsburgh. Um, knowing that this was coming up, it became remarkable to me and, and shone a, a bright light to me um, on the fact that in those 10 days, the people that I relied upon most to help make the decision of what, and to help me get back up on my feet when you get knocked on your butt, when you get fired, it's not the greatest moment of your life, but the people that helped me uh, and pushed me just so happened to be the same people that were sitting here with me in 2007. Um, they were the ones that pushed me to go and take the conversation with the Penguin staff and entertain other people who had come along. Uh, and then reflecting back on my whole time uh, with those friends and my family, um, I was able to reflect back and realize that along the way, when you fail, so every year when you lose, when you don't reach your goal, um, every time when you make a bad trade, when you make a bad signing, when you don't hire the right people, um, it's always the same people that are there to help you and, and, and lift you up. 